All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox and test out a drill, a brushless drill driver called uh, Popo Man. All right, so the, the, this company sent me this tool, so I'm actually interested on, uh, I'm actually very interested to see how this, how well this actually performs. Popo Man is actually an Amazon company, and so I'll put the link for this, for this in the description below. So we're gonna unbox this, test this out, and see what this can actually do, and see what comes inside the kit. All righty, so, Looks like it comes with a bag, which everyone knows I love bags. I do not like hard cases. It has a little pouch, a little pouch inside. I think that's how you say it, Popo Man or Popo Man. All right, of course, it comes with instructions. All right, so 30 days to three months, they'll replace the tech, uh, defective unit. Due to uh, manufacturer fault with a new one, you will receive extra three months warranty with that. Alrighty, so that's that. Alrighty, so this kit does come with bits. All right, now, just so you guys know, Amazon companies, I, th in my opinion, adding these to uh, adding bits like this to your uh, kits is it's not necessary. That, that that's just my opinion. Those are the bits it comes with. And of course, it comes with a uh, with a belt clip. I all now I did cheat. I already charged these up for the video. Battery is full. Battery is full. Now, one thing I did not look at because I wanted to get my reaction is the tool itself. But uh, but here's the charger. 120 VAC, 50 to 60 hertz at 55 watts. Output is 1820 volt DC at two at two amps. Alrighty, so then the last thing is the tool itself. And there we go. Alrighty, so this is a brushless drill driver. And the model number for this is BHD3006. 20 volt system, two speed settings. First speed is 0 to 400 and second speed is 0 to 1500. It is a 21 point clutch plus one. And so, yeah. Uh, it does have a, it's a half inch metal chuck. The chuck is metal, which is a good thing. All right, and so like I said, I did charge the batteries up, two amp hour battery, fully charged up. done alrighty so at a speed two speed one speed two all right so let's test this out let's see what this can do already remember when you work wear gloves and safety glasses got mine right here alrighty so first we are going to do the standard stuff We are gonna do, first we're gonna start off with a one inch spade bit from Bosch. Nice ratcheting chuck. It is on drill. Remember we're two amp hour battery, I'm, uh, battery is full. I'm curious in how well this is actually gonna perform. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready, go. That is one. Let's do another one. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's run it for about 30 seconds. All right, next, let's see what it can do. What is this? A, yeah, I was about to say, it's a half inch chuck. Let's see what this can do with a three eighths, uh, three quarter inch drill bit from Milwaukee. All right, so ready, go. Just able to do it without stopping. All right, so ready, go. Actually fed into the other one. One more.
It's not doing a bad job. In my opinion, it's, it's not doing a bad job at all. All right, but let's increase up to a one and a half inch spade bit. Let's see what this can do. Now, the reason why I do these tests, everyone, is because any drill could do regular screws, you know, no problem. These are the hardcore tests to see if the motor can handle the stress from the task. All right, so that's why I do these tests. Is if there, if the if a motor is gonna get too hot and fry out, it's gonna be very quickly with these tests. So if it survives these tests, it'll more than likely survive to do what you want it to do. So that's why I do these tests. So we're gonna test this out on speed two to see if it can do a one and a half inch uh, spade. And if not, which most regular drills can't. Now don't judge it by, by this test right here. Uh, if it can't do it on speed two, not many other drills, uh, not many drills can. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. Time. It did it. Let's do one more. We're gonna do it on speed, uh, speed one. All right, so ready, go. Time. It did it. It did. Let's do a quick temperature reading. Now, remember, guys, these are hard tasks. These actually are. 110, 109, 103, 111 degrees. 111 degrees. Next, let's do a speed bore. It's do it's a, all right, for a two amp hour battery. Battery is still full. It's doing a good job. It's doing a good job. In my book, it's doing a good job. Do a one and a quarter inch, I believe it's one and a quarter inch speed, a speed board. Right here is good. We're gonna try it on speed two, see if it can. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. Speed one. All right, so continue. Time. Excellent, let's do one more. Are you ready? Go. Very good. This is doing a fantastic job. Temperature reading. My battery died on my thermal reader. So, but this is actually, it is not hot. I can have it on my face, no problem. Uh, this actually did a fantastic job. You know what, let's do a, a couple, let's do one more. Let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. No smoking, no nothing. It did good. You know what, I'm gonna get unlazy. I'm gonna change this battery out really quick. So yeah, 115, 115 degrees. Now remember, these are doing extremely hard tasks. Like all, like all these, these are extremely hard tasks to do for a tool. It, it, they, they really are. And so this is a, this, a, 
this Popomon is actually doing a, a decent job. Now remember, it's only a drill driver, it is not a hammer drill. And so yeah. So yeah, there's if I continue these tests, it, it'll it'll do good. It, it'll do good. That's the difference between a brushed and a brushless motor. A brushless motor will more than likely not uh, mess up on you. All, that's why I praise brushless motors. So brushed motors are garbage. Let's do one. No, I have enough room for two more holes. All right, ready? Go. Time. No smoking, no nothing. Nothing. Fantastic. 106, 111, 110, 115 still. Yep, 115 is the maximum temperature. So this uh, Popomon is worthy to have in my versus videos. And you will see this a lot. Remember, we only used a two amp hour battery. Uh, battery is at two bars still. So if I can get another high amp hour battery, I'll even do even more videos of this, but I can do at least two amp hour batteries versus the other brands. So this is worthy. This drill is worthy for me to do versus videos with. So this actually did a good job. And I'm gonna look them up to see if I could actually get a higher amp hour battery, if I could buy one. So that's pretty much it. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>